TV Challenge match. The Texas Broncos, Dustin Rhodes and Kendall Wyndham. Huh. Nice. And also Al Perez and Larry Zabisco. Managed by Gary Hart. Larry Zabisco, the Western States Heritage Champion. And the thing is, Gary Hart's made the challenge to the World Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair. Then he wants one of his two men or both of them to wrestling for that world title, and he's going to go through JJ to get that chance. Well, as I had said last week, David, I think it's time that J.J. Dillon wake up and live in the real world. He's been defended against the people such as Lex Luger, the Sting, and I'm not taking anything I'm away from him. But it must be realistic. I think it's time that Perez and Sabisco have a fair opportunity. Do you disagree? No, I do not. The thing is, the world heavyweight champion wrestles all comers. Now there's, a, you know, Larry Zabisco, Western State Charities champion. Yes, Al Perez, he's beaten a lot of good men, but uh, where is he on that ladder? He's rated number six uh, in the National Wrestling Alliance. He's held every regional and major title you could possibly hold. He's wrestled throughout the world. Uh, he's 26 years old, and uh, he's in prime condition, and it tells me that if Flair don't want to wrestle him, that just tells me that Perez is as good as I think he is. Well, wait a minute. Why do you think J.J. wants to keep Flair? Flair from wrestling on Zabisco on Al Perez. That, that... J.J. Dillon took advantage of some business dealings and some friendship. And it was really Perez... It was really Perez and Zabisco to put the pressure on me to get this title back. We'll see how great the champion is. But they're having problems right now. This young man, the long, tall Texan, Kendall Windham. Tell you what, Gary Hart needs to pay attention to what's going on in the ring because Kendall had him with that sunset flip, David, and almost pending. That was a good move. And when you're when you're making noise toward the world heavyweight champion, you don't want to see your man's shoulders pinned on nationwide TV in the same breath. Well, let's remember, these are these two young men, Kendall Williams and Rose. They're wrestlers' children. They grow up in wrestling. They're going to be better than your average guy that just starts in the profession. I don't argue with that at all. A lot better. Look at Kendall jump right back up. Having a good leg take down. That is the termination right there, David, from that youngster. Oh, yes. Kendall Wyndham. Yeah, and Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes, 19 years old. What, 200, 260 pounds, maybe? Maybe more than that. Uh, his father has trained him ever since he could walk. He knows everything. You know, Gary, coming out of Starcade, you got to realize the world heavyweight champion, Ric Flair, is on a hot streak, maybe hotter than he's ever been after winning in Starcade and still holding on that world heavyweight title. I'm not going to say anything to take away from Ric Flair. Ric Flair is one of the greatest champions that the National Wrestling Alliance has ever had. It's the oldest organization in wrestling, and Ricky Flair is the true king at the time. But there comes a time, no matter how great you are, you are, that it's time to be fought. And Ricky Flair is ready to be fought. So you're saying right now is the time for Ric Flair to lose the belt? Yeah, he's, he's very right. There is a time when you're more vulnerable to losing than other times. And you know, Ric Flair, you know, he had a lot of damage done to himself. You know, Lex Luger, ha, he pounded away Oh, on Lex Luger pounded him away. Let me suggest this to you. Here's Lex Luger. He's been a professional wrestler for three years, a phenomenal athlete. I don't want to take anything I make from Lex Luger or the Steve. They both have made great strides in wrestling. But in Larry Sabisco and Alvarez, we're talking about veteran wrestlers. We're talking about somebody that Flair can't play the psychological game. If Flair wants to make it a 60-minute battle, both of these men can get the 60 minutes. It'll be a give and take. I'm not taking anything away from Lex I think he's phenomenal. But when it comes to wrestling for a world's title, you need that experience of years and years of training. It gives you an edge. Here's, a, here's another game that, that James J. Dillon always wants to play, and that's the game in the promoter's office. He makes a lot of demands on any type of challenger to come after Ric Flair. In turn, the challenger always makes demands. You have in your mind any demands you want to make for that or these matches coming no, up? I don't have a demand, but I have a promise. If J.J. Dillon tries to get involved in a type of match... Watch, watch, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. 
Kendall, you're right, David. Really going after Zabisco. They said tag. Oh. Hand bullet trucks, too. Remember, good. That's okay. We're good, but not that good. Your winners, Sabisco and Perez. Good match. Good match, though. They really were. Watch this. They had him going. Kendall Wyndham and Dustin Rose. Oh, but the experience. They're talking about the experience taking advantage. That's what happened right there. Your winners, Al Perez and Larry Zabisco and Gary Hart. Fans, now here's some action brought to you by Old Spice.